All right, how many of you deal with anyone at work or in your life who gets on your nerves? Anybody? Okay, good, I'm not alone in that. So I was, oh, you're sitting with someone who gets on your nerves. All right, well, that's nice. I'm sure they appreciate that. I was, uh, I was on the phone with a mentor of mine a few years ago, and I was complaining to him about a bunch of people who were getting on my nerves. And he's one of these people that I really appreciate. I can be completely honest, completely open, no filter, just sort of tell him what's going on. And he's also, he's got this ability. You have people like this in your life who can like listen to what is going on or what I might be frustrated or struggling with, and he can kind of cut right through it and sort of get to the core of it. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm on the phone with him, and I'm complaining about this person's bugging me, and this person's bugging me, and this other person's getting on my nerves, and this, blah, blah. And after four or five minutes, he listens to me for a while. He's a great listener. And he says, all right, Mike, I understand you're frustrated. It totally makes sense. These people are bugging you and getting on your nerves. He said, but I have a really important question to ask you. I said, what's that? He said, who's always at the scene of the crime? I said, what? He said, who's the common denominator in all those relationships you were just complaining about? I said, uh, that would be me. He said, yeah, you keep thinking that if this person changed and that other person changed and this person worked harder and that person had a different attitude and this person stopped doing this and started doing that, then everything would work out. He said, it doesn't work that way. In fact, it works the other way around. He said to me, nothing changes until you do. And it wasn't like I'd never heard that phrase before or definitely that concept, but there was something about him saying that to me right in that moment that had me stop in my tracks and realize, wow, how much time and energy am I wasting wanting other people to be different than the way they are. Where I really have some ability to make some changes within myself. And I was actually working on a book at the time and struggling to come up with a title for the book, but I decided I was gonna use that phrase, <laughs> nothing changes until you do, as the title of the book. And it really, what he was essentially saying to me and reminding me of was to take ownership of my own life and my own experience and the relationships that I have with people. And over the last almost 20 years, as I've been really studying the psychology of peak performance for individuals, but also for teams and organizations, that element of ownership is such an essential part of our success, especially when we're going through change. 